relational setup, where it's interfaced by people who can speak Swedish and English at the same time, where they can communicate, while we kept on the rest to do the tasks assigned for them in market search, building uh, uh, IT tools, uh, translation, uh, and so many other things uh, uh, that benefit the company. Uh, all the services that we can provide are mentioned here in the uh, uh, in this in this presentation. So leadership was the thing that we'll be focusing on. How to develop leadership? None of us is a leader, but all of us are leaders. Everyone is a leader and count and has a value from its position, from his or her position. So everyone goes to his or her drill hall and give us the necessary knowledge that we need for this specific matter. It's just exactly like, like we have a sick patient on the bed of operation theater and we have pediatrics that are going to cut bones. We have uh, uh, an aesthetic doctor. We have the surgeon. We have the nurses. Everyone knows what they should do for this specific mission. Unfortunately, the sick patients was ourselves. Our image in the society. Our weak or no social status. This is what we have discovered. That no one is willing actually to deal with us. So how to build the trust and take it from the hardest way with these companies. So as I said, just to come back to where I stopped, we decided to be in the center. And instead of wasting our time, and actually we discovered that it will be a waste of time that we go to these companies and practice a little bit here. Maybe we will practice one or two hours uh, concretely at that day. And then the rest of the day we'll be watching and doing other things, liaising with people, building relations. While if we stayed here, we can have more than one company at the same time. And then we can do real work. We can practice really what we have learned through the program. One of the things that we discovered we lacked information about how to search the market because that was the first thing we had to do. We have a new product. And by the way, I mean, it's worth to mention here that we thought to take a sustainable product as a new line of specialty. And why is that? Because this line has a future and it's mostly needed wherever you go all the world. And there is a growing awareness all over the world that these products are going to save our planet. So this is the trend today. We need to focus on it. But then at the same time, that doesn't mean we do not look at other products that can also bring us resources. But we need to specialize also. Dealing with micro and small companies didn't mean in any way that we don't liaise or try to contact and approach medium and large companies, because those companies, they have the products that are mostly prioritized and needed in our home country. So how to make that possible? As I said at the beginning, we thought about the operational setup. How are we going to communicate? Luckily, we had Ingmar. Uh, we had people at the beginning who uh, started to liaise with micro and small companies and then these companies that we decided <coughs> to cooperate with actually they were willing to to uh, <coughs> to benefit from our services and that was very good point to catch we need to deal with those who needs us not those who don't want us because with those people who needs us we can build the trust liability and then the first success that we make, all others will come to us because they know we are true. Good reference. Yes, we have a reference. So that was the way how we've been, we've been thinking. 
the the uh, we cultivated the market for for uh, for example uh, uh, solar design. They have a new technology, renewable energy, something that is needed, and we translated their website. Uh, we made a wonderful presentation in Arabic language uh, so that we can represent them according to the market needs. We, can, we, we know how to talk to the market and to present this product in the way that really uh, tickle the, uh, the emotional uh, and psychological aspects of that specific society from their needs. And this is the multicultural aspects of this, of this uh, approach that, that, that we're taking. And uh, I would say uh, we've been learning in every step that we've been making. This is a, a, a reiterative process. The more you go further, the more you learn from what you have practiced, mm -hmm. and the more you can build in new uh, ideas, new opinions, and new perspectives uh, upon that. Uh, one of the problems that immigrants really uh, suffer from, uh, although this has nothing to do actually with, with export formula and what we did, but it's good to understand ourselves. What we are lacking, what are our weak points? And this is part of being honest to ourselves. Most of immigrants in Sweden, they are coming from countries, unfortunately, with dictatorship regimes. So what do the dictators do, actually, to people of these countries? Dictators are not stupid people. They are clever, very intelligent, and they have a lot of uh, advisors and uh, they rely on scientific researches in order to rule their people. So what they do actually, there are three mechanisms that scientists for 80 years were researching. They discovered that these three mechanisms are common to every living system in the universe, including the human social society. They are self-organization interdependence and diversity. What is self-organization? Because here now we are here people talk about diversity. Everywhere we go we hear the word diversity. But if we look thoroughly, diversity without self-organization and interdependence doesn't mean anything for us as immigrants. Why is that? First of all, because our team spirit was killed by those dictators, we cannot hear a lie and gather around the purpose. We need substantial support and help from the Swedish government to help us how to build teams, how to work in teams. So self-organization actually implies it's, it's the capability of every living entity to define and sustain its own existence, its own unique existence, as it's constantly received feedbacks and adjust and adopt to these feedbacks from the system that is surrounding them. So it implies the potential to grow limitlessly. So that's self-organization. What's interdependence? It's the capability of these self-organizing entities to develop <coughs> the kind of cohesion. I don't know what's cohesion in point. No, I don't know. Cohesion is the social. This is cohesion between society. Uh, <laughs> togetherness. <laughs> togetherness. Togetherness. The 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 some band. The cohesion, the quality of cohesion, it's not that actually cohesion, but we're talking about the quality of cohesion and reciprocity. I give you and you give me, I interact with you and you interact, interact with me on an equal basis. And the trust. 
This is what interdependence is all about. And then we go to diversity. And what's diversity, actually? And diversity is the outcome of self-organizing entity interdependent together. It implies the endless generation of new things, new ideas, new approaches, and new perspectives. And this is what we did here, actually. This is a result of diversity. Just for once, the Swedish authorities decided to work in export from here where it incorporates multicultural aspects. We put them together, and we see. We were being dealing only with this wonderful guy, actually. Not so many Swedes and the company. And we could manage. We could manage all these things. Just imagine how much we are losing from the diversity in our society. We're not benefiting from it. Huge potentials and resources are wasted, just like that, with this inaction. Correct. So you see, now, back to dictators. Dictators kill the self-organization of their people. So they don't ally together. Everyone is, you know, ah, I don't know what this guy is thinking about me. We fear each other. You see us together, but we're not together. Our hearts are not together. We cannot ally. This is Shia, this is Sunni, <laughs> this is Kurd, this is Arab. This is how they are ruling us. Divide and rule. Mm -hmm. Here in this society, you don't have these things. Luckily, you don't have Shia and Sunni, and, uh, unless us. This is a diverse system. Mm -hmm. But we don't know. We don't have entity to integrate with this society. We need self-organization. We need to learn how to do it, how to love each other, how to work hand in hand, and forget our discord and our, our disconnection before. Because now we have a purpose. And this is what we build in this program, purpose. What is our purpose? What can we do? Do you agree? that we remain burden on the system, taking subsidies from governments, and subjugated by our handlegara, uh, uh, or we should set, up, set ourselves free, and be independent, and show to those wonderful people who received us, and tell them thank you. We don't know how to tell you thank you, because we cannot organize ourselves. And the one who said, immigrants are helpless people, who cannot do anything is correct. This is very correct. Because we cannot organize ourselves. And actually, if you look at it thoroughly, this was what made the United States win over Russia. It was not a, uh, it was not a struggle or, or a competition in terms of technology. No. Management. And management means organization. Mm -hmm. American won. Mm -hmm. We want to win here also. And we have it. Mm -hmm. We have wonderful people who have all everything. But now we are using some, some excuses to stop this process from all down. You have to speak the Swedish language. No. We can't do everything without speaking the language. Just open up. Mm -hmm. Open up. Mm -hmm. The trade, language, all over the world is English mm. or French. International language. This is the international language. In our countries, we are going to speak Arabic. So we can work without the Swedish. Mm. I, I mean, this reminds me also in, 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 the, in the current trends in our countries. When you go there, any people wants to indoctrinate you to be a Muslim. Mm. You have to be a Muslim. You will go to hell later on. Mm. And here you will go to hell now if you don't speak the language. <laughs> I mean, we need to contemplate these things and to look at integration in a sort of a thought. How can we exploit it? We have treasures. But we're just not looking at it. So we need to change the angle. Where to look at? Where from to look at that thing? I mean, we've been looking at it from this angle and didn't yield anything. So let's change. 
And you see, everyone is talking about, you have to think outside the books. Wonderful. Wonderful. The next question is, do we have instruments and tools within the system that can respond to the outcome of this outside-the-box thinking? The answer is no, and this is the proof. Now we are kissing hands, because we don't, there is no institution in Sweden that can take care of such setup. Everyone thinks, oh, how much are you going to get money? Oh, this is what you were making money? Okay, so this is you will be viable, you will live, because you can't sustain yourself. Mm -hmm. We're thinking what we're talking about is a completely different issue. First of all, we are talking about the socio-economic cohesion of Sweden on the long run. Today, we are talking in Sweden about xenophobia, increased violence, criminality, language problems, multicultural conflicts, Damn it, if today we're talking about this, what we were talking about in 10, 10 years from now, what will happen? Hmm. There are sides that span the economical thing, although in, in economy is incorporated with, we need to think about how we can correct this the, uh, future. <coughs> what kind of future we are looking at? Immigrants, is anybody has asked immigrants, what kind of future you are dreaming of in this country? No one. No one done that. Basically, there are no communication channels. Bottom up, to talk to immigrants. Those who doesn't speak the language, because those are the ones that are actually having the wisdom, the, as we said. The know-how, the experience. Those are we, what we need to capitalize on. And then, how to do it? We need to develop leadership in Kamunana. Leadership, it's very simple. Committee of four persons, five persons, why not? Linked direct to the Kamunana, liaise with immigrants and between Kamunana. Get the results and the outcome. What do they think? Because there might be someone who can come to me and tell me, Hey Ali, you say integration is language acquisition and finding job. I can't speak the language. The language is difficult, period. What's your next option? You are the government, not me. I don't have answers. I'm telling you, sorry, this is your problem. Not my problem. Well, actually, it's me who should be the guardian of the people. The government is the guardian of the people. Mm -hmm. And they are Swedes. They just don't speak the language. So, if you don't have the answer, if you don't have this answer, ask me, maybe I have it. But you don't want to ask me. One of the problems that are currently dominating in the society, from the Swedish side and from the immigrant side, by the way, I mean, it's, both are in the... The Swedish side says, we gave you all what you want. What else? What do you want? You are burdened, you are done, blah, 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 you know this, this story. From the immigrant side, they are too shy. They're so much favored, very thankful, to the extent that they don't dare to ask for more rights to fulfill their citizenship duties. What's happening is the following. We have an adage or a proverb in our country, old saying. We say the one who is shy from his wife cannot make children. <laughs> I don't know if you if you get the, the idea behind that. I think. If we are shy from each other, if we are not coming into togetherness and dialogue, put it together in one pot and cook it together, nothing will happen. So when I commented about the question of Minister of Integration when he's touring to, to find answers to these questions, how does immigrants uh, uh, stimulate Sweden's economic growth? And the next question, in what ways can business and NGO help immigrants' integration in Sweden? These are very concrete questions. And this tells that they put their, eventually, hopefully, they put their thumbs on the wound. 
Nice. It can't be done through those two business and NGO. Mm -hmm. So, the setup that we came up with actually, <coughs> it has unleashed our wildest imagination. Because now we know how to do it. <coughs> While as you saw, the minister is still looking at questions way behind what we, what we manage. And we know how to do it in details and nuts and bolts, whether for this side or this side. We have researched it very well. We just need to be heard. Actually, I, I have a meeting, hopefully, with the Leinster and if they can do it. I send them their uh, brief summary of, of uh, my research, my recent research. And uh, it looks like they, they, in a way, welcomed it. So they will discuss it with a group of uh, committees that they consult in relation to integration uh, in Blekinge. And then after that, as they wrote, they will invite me to take the discussions further. So this is what I'm, I hope to focus on, on two things. Opening communication channels with immigrants and develop leadership. It's how necessary. <coughs> so I think this is what, what I have. Now we reach to a level that we need to establish our company, our own company. And now we are thinking, will it be possible to, for what we are doing now and what we are aiming at in the future, to, is there any business model that can encompass this? I really doubt. And the current model, I mean, the other day, the guy, when he came with Marianne, yeah. in Companion, we've been talking, and I knew exactly what he was thinking when we were talking. <coughs> we've been discussing what we did and what we can do. And he was receiving the information and classify it according to the traditional models he know of in his mind. This doesn't look like any of and then in the end he says, leave the business model and work the way out and we will see what will be reached. This kind of work, as we said, for self-organization and diversity, it implies the potential to grow limitlessly, where no company can encompass its outcome. That's one thing. The second thing, the new generation of ideas resulted or resulting out of this diverse interaction there is no traditional solution traditional inst uh, or institution within sweden one institution that can harness it that's what why we need to develop cross-sector cooperation mm -hmm. in order to harness it and this is the cross -sector. <laughs> and by the way even with the ministry of foreign affairs because the sweet fund reports to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, while SIDA reports to the Minister of Trade. So we need the Ministry of, even Ministry of, of uh, Foreign Affairs joining us. This can create a board, including oh, an institutional board, a new institution. We can call it, as, this is a new institution that has a board of those with this, if it has a name, like for example, we call it XYZ, would be with it. And then we can see an image of what kind of institution we need to harness such work. Mm -hmm. Everybody would ask me, I will work with it for them and develop this actually. I mean, now it's my affinity. It became like something that's under my skin. To develop clusters. Now we will have this institution here. And what we can do, we can develop work on two levels. First, we have the, the operational description. Operation description. And here, for business, sorry, for business, and for 
development cooperation. And why those two? Okay. Why is it business and de development cooperation? Because in every market, you have private sector and you have public sector. Mm -hmm. And in order to build, to build it bottom up and top down and send circle the market, mm -hmm. the effective information can come to you from here and from here. So you know what's coming in there. The business center here. And of course, you can do uh, a lot of business with the public sector too. They are buying a lot. Uh, they yeah, yeah. So this is then, we have a problem actually. Well, the corruption. And here, we are thinking to build our own market with face-to-face -face relationship with our customers and clients. Then we are putting corruption as well. What do you say, Mohammed? I tell him don't focus about corruption because uh, it depends on the, the companies. The, it depends on the company and mostly I think it's the it depends on us. Yeah, that's right. If we then give, give them a chance and we start to be corrupt, yeah. then we have to keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. That's right. Yeah. On the other side, how there, to there avoid is a, There is a corruption, yeah. but uh, you can, you can uh, uh, avoid. avoid it or do, don't deal with it. Yeah. It's, you can decide that. I mean, no one will force you, but you will lose the, the bargain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, please the don't, private. don't focus on the okay. Okay. No, I'm, I'm just saying, how are we going to avoid it? Yeah. On the private sector, building good relationship with governmental levels, it will give us access, actually, directly, because then we, it's based on conviction, it's based on trust. Mm. Then we can, we can avoid dealing directly with corruption by dealing right away with top officials. And this is how we are going to expand our relationship with that market at different levels, from public to private to civil society. Now, the, 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 the image looks pinkish, very nice and bright. Uh, it can happen if we have, if there is a will, there is a way. We can on VV, as, mm -hmm. as you say. Mm -hmm. So this requires this requires harnessing of such an outcome. Requires a governmental will here in Sweden in order to develop it and take it further. To consider immig immigrants as real uh, strategic tool to push further. Mm -hmm. Uh, economic growth and also to provide good jobs hmm. here in Sweden hmm. and abroad. And I can give you an example for, for this uh, solar design. If we manage to reach a, a, a sort of understanding and Sweet Fund happened to agree that to finance us, what we're going to do actually, we are going to create a new line in the market for companies that are specialized with installation of solar panels all over Iraq mm -hmm. in 18 governorates. So this is a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. We're giving also, not only bringing new technology, but also uh, creating jobs. Yes, yes. As for CEDA and the development cooperation projects, there is a number. I mean, you know, see that they have they call it the umbrella uh, framework. Uh, and see that there are many uh, NGOs underneath this umbrella, and we can we can uh, develop uh, like development cooperation in regard to the small and medium size establishment, business incubators, simple industrial clusters, uh, community development with technology transfer, like. Uh, uh, so you see, we can put what is what we are knowing of the Swedish export into project of BCD. We need to learn how to do it. Actually, this is still an area of uh, study, but we can do it. 
So I think this is this is conclude this conclude like the, the image mm -hmm. of uh, what we have done and uh, what we are aiming at in the long run and uh, uh, the current uh, the current uh, situation. We're going to Baghdad, of course. I mean, you know that. And uh, hopefully, we are. We will be joined by as many as possible from the companies here in Beijing. We made it in a way, and thanks to Lance Terrelson and who supported us actually. And uh, this is a good sign, a good indication mm -hmm. that they know or they feel that there is something that would come up out of this eventually, which is promising and which is good and which is also stimulating us, inciting us mm -hmm. to to even give further and do more. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So thank you very much for. Thank you for a very good presentation. Uh, I think that. Uh, Bef what you say? Sorry, before you finish, there is an article here in the local. It's a, an English newspaper, Swedish uh, newspaper. It says the government there, the local government in Malmo, they are interacting what, with what you're saying now, but in a really negative way. So it says Malmo police to learn polite Arabic. Mm -hmm. So they're teaching police Arabic, so they can interact with uh, with the people in the, the neighborhood of uh, uh, what is it? Rosengor. Rosengor. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. this is not exactly what, what is <laughs> the solution for this problem. So instead of that, just destroy this camp, uh, which been built in uh, this uh, area, Ros Rosengor. Rosengor. Yeah, in the 60s. it's like a concentration camp with the prosperity, I know, but it's still a ghetto. So instead of teaching the police uh, Arabic, I don't know what to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you, Abukar. Thank you, Abukar. I should do the coffee. Thank you very much. Uh, a little applause. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this presentation was uh, very interesting in uh, uh, quite a lot of ways. Uh, I just want to say something about this uh, board thinking. Uh, I think that uh, <coughs> most of uh, uh, this uh, uh, is uh, official departments and so on. Uh, and they are essential to work with. And uh, together with them, uh, they can open doors that we can't open ourselves. Uh, they can create foundation and so on. Uh, two other thoughts. Uh, I think that uh, if you also uh, work with uh, institutions that has the real need for your services. Uh, and I think about the uh, uh, organization that uh, most of the Swedish companies are in, Svensk Nervsliv. I think that uh, that uh, kind of organization, uh, uh, they have uh, a lot of clusters and so on. If you can uh, uh, tell them yes. what you told us now uh, uh, and the uh, focus on uh, develop uh, a special cluster they will be interested both in, in new investments but, but also that the, uh, it's uh, <coughs> the, the companies that are in the cluster they are going to get the revenues and, and that's another type of disengagement uh, or, or interest uh, if you compare to these officials. So I think it would be interesting. Uh, to have a contact with Narix uh, League. My other for, uh, and I know from uh, a couple of projects uh, down at the 90s and also in the uh, 2000s so on. There are many, uh, I don't know the word in uh, English, but stifterse. Uh, 
I'm sorry that I am uh, running out of yeah, 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 because that somebody has to do the business. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, I got uh, from Lena uh, She just asked me which uh, number where she should put the money. <laughs> uh, so uh, she will uh, bring in 250,000 Swedish crowns on my account. The money. Okay. Yeah. You will be really rich. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, now, now we got the money. Well, I, uh, in my mind, it was that I should uh, pay and then get the money from her. But she wants to do the other way. She wants to give me the money and then I should send a bill to her that we have used them to this and this and this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the different way of the uh, e money. Yeah. And, and also there was one company that was interested to join us at uh, the exhibition that was calling Monkey Sword. Uh, curtains and, and so on. From Blekinge. From Blekinge. They are in the economy. And in the next uh, exhib uh, two, the next, uh, they want to see, or the first uh, target now is the Russian market. Russia. Russia. Yeah. So uh, in the next group, I have uh, a few Russian people. So he, he wants to join us, and he yeah, has already met. I have been there with a Russian girl, so uh, it's no problem. So but, uh, we have a place now. And, and also, I got the mail from uh, uh, Export Over mm -hmm. uh, the, in the Baga. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, she is very interesting. Uh, so, uh, he, she wants more information and so on. So, uh, she's looking forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Sweden is not I'm participating. <laughs> uh, I don't yes. know. I haven't read the whole mail. I just. Uh, so, uh, Things are turning well. <laughs> so that's what happened for the cards. So Marquisot. 
If they are interesting, we, we can say we have to sit down and talk to them. Because I have some companies outside Britain yeah. want to join with us. Yeah. Uh, we, we, uh, you and me can talk uh, and then they, uh, mm. travel to them and sit down and talk to them mm. and ask them uh, what, mm. what they want and then we have to make it in practice. Ah. I think it, it, it's the best way to do that, uh, so we don't uh, scare them away or we'll be too cheap. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Something uh, in the middle. In, in, in the middle. They should feel that they, we are giving them a lot. Mm -hmm. And we should also have some money. Uh, we can say six, six, eight thousand. So one company is bringing in the money for one more person. Uh, you understand? Mm, yeah. Say again. Yeah. That uh, a company outside the uh, Britain is, is paying the price of one society for the for for us. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. then we for can, the trip. We can not uh, five persons. We can go six and seven, eight, nine, and so on. I think it's the best way. We, we should not earn money on this because we can't. We can't earn money. No, that's, that's not the purpose of this. We want to be as many as possible. And they have to be sure. Then it will be the most honor. Yeah. Can you say that? Or plus, plus the plus. Yeah, you, you have to uh, pay for a ticket for, for yeah. one. Oh. Then we say you, you have to pay Mohammed's. Uh, Flight tickets mm. and also the cost for the, uh, the goods down mm. there. Then, then it, we would be under mm. 10,000. Mm. Yeah. Is it okay? Mm. I, I think uh, it should make it easier for them so to say yes. Mm. Mm. Good news. Mm. Thank you. We can go on. We can go on. Okay. <laughs> bring some more news. <laughs> bring, bring some more news. Yeah. And uh, I think it's that uh, this uh, uh, talk about stifters, uh, uh, there is a uh, potential because uh, not many know of their existence. So, uh, in different kinds of stifters, uh, there's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 you say it's uh, uh, as always. You um, uh, 
better work uh, in the long time to uh, create a relation with some uh, of the people that sit in the stiffest mm -hmm. I, uh, I did it um, sometimes. And um, uh, then uh, do uh, uh, fill in the form, but really think it over and uh, put uh, forward the values that you are going to create and so on. It could be interesting. And I know at the internet, this were just the examples, Sparbanken, uh, and it's now named Swedbank. Yeah. They, they have got a uh, huge, uh, or several stiftes up. Mm. Uh, and also, uh, <coughs> stiftes who uh, uh, likes uh, that the industry developer develops in a, in a good, efficient way. So you can find, uh, I don't know the address or something, but uh, I think you can Google on Stiftesa, uh, and then there's a thousand of them. So, so, to that, so you, uh, you have to do some research to find the ten uh, most, uh, so you can make a priority list, yeah. the ten best in the south of Sweden. For yes. And yeah. you know, also, uh, we can do that uh, when we have a company. Mm -hmm. We can't take it uh, right now to uh, seek the money that in, in the situation. In this format. We don't know what we want to put ourselves under. But then when we got the company or a uh, cooperative or whatever it's going to be, then we, we can do this. But we should check out what's the, what's the uh, opportunities, uh, what the... Uh, Possibilities and so on. Which are they? Should we take contact with them right now yeah, and yeah, uh, explain what we are planning to do? Caesarean birth? Have you ever heard of a caesarean birth? No, no. Those ladies that they cannot deliver babies normally, so they cut their. Uh, yes. So we are in a sort sort of caesarean birth right now. When well, it comes to the situation. I can give you an example. I filled in that form for and in Funnan. And they were situated in Almalen, Funnubay, and Blekinge. And I... That's not the right. I, I applied for money about 250,000 crowns uh, to make uh, a development project in a spe specific area of Kalmaland, in Mabuda, where the train stops if you go to Vecchio and so on. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, what I uh, did in that project was to get new <coughs> companies to establish in Emmaboda because uh, it was uh, uh, not a good competition. It was uh, uh, only one or two, two uh, uh, companies uh, who um, uh, served cars, for instance, uh, uh, two or three restaurants and so on. Dominate the market. Yes. yes. So they wanted more. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it, it would be, it was uh, more attractive because if uh, you don't have uh, so much to, you, you have no choices, then uh, the people who lived in Emmaboda, they went to Nivo, Castrona and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. So that was their problem. And, and for, for that reason, uh, we uh, got uh, money from this stiftes. Another uh, larger project uh, was um, uh, in the whole of uh, south of southeast of Sweden, Lincoln, Kalmar, Kronberg, also at that time. And uh, this was to uh, uh, put emphasis on uh, the most important things that the, the uh, the biggest um, industrial companies have to focus or focus in the future uh, to, to get that information and uh, do it uh, very clear. This is very essential uh, that uh, this uh, Simon 
infrastructure programs, uh, programs is established. Mm -hmm. So um, you have got uh, uh, good railway, yeah. uh, good harbors, and so on. Um, <coughs> this was an, another example of money. So um, th th that's a good, uh, good opportunity in, in the stiffer sense. I don't know if you stick it in Swedish or don't you? No, 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 and used that kind of money for self I think so, 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 it, so it's easily, if we got the 100 thousand from three uh, banks, we can use it as a self defense mm -hmm. to uh, the region. Then they get us 200 thousand. Mm -hmm. So we can make every money we can get from the stifters on that, we can make it. Double, when we are seeking money from Region B. Because they base, Region making they base their decision on the approval of Sweden. Yeah, and our own financing. You have to finance the project with 50% own money. So if we can use Sweden money, then we can. We can get as much as they give us. Yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. Double, yeah. Double, 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 double. So it's like one hundred. We will get two more hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's a good possibility. Yeah. Great. Uh, one. Uh, some more questions. Yeah. No, I was talking about uh, something from Iraq about uh, agencies. Uh, from nineteen ninety one. Uh, there, there was an embargo uh, that I got isolated. Then all companies uh, and agencies, they are not uh, allowed to deal with their act, direct or indirect. After that, the, the agencies go to another countries around Iraq, Neighbor. neighbors like Jordan, uh, Turkey, but there isn't any uh, agency in, in Iraq from uh, 1991 until uh, 2003. And until now, there are uh, very few companies that they have agencies or distributors in Iraq. Now, we're thinking uh, to make some change about these rules, these old rules, uh, to make uh, agencies in Iraq, on the earth, not from outside. Uh, and we're thinking uh, to, to make a business center. Mm -hmm. to this, uh, in this space of this project, we <coughs> can um, uh, bring the agencies in, in, the, in the market, not from outside, and they, they don't have a real control on the market. From outside, it's not will be uh, a clear vision. I don't know how we can uh, break this old rules. See, uh, just an addition to what he said. So, it's a Swedish agency in the world. Which, which is willing to work in Iraq. So there will be more uh, Emirati control, the, the Dubai control mm -hmm. over this agency than the Swedish company itself. You know what I'm saying? So it's more a Dubai company or agency than Sweden. <coughs> and to add on this, I, I give you an example. I mean, I don't, uh, I'm not talking to you. This is a concrete example. ITT. This is a Swedish company that specializes in some most of the <coughs> I opened discussion with them because we had some tender inside Iraq and we wanted to know if they can supply. And they said, we have our regional office in 
Kuntan. Kuntan. Okay. This is your, this is the <coughs> this is the address. Okay. I contacted the world. And he said, because our distributor, the one of Dubai, said, our distributor to Iraq is in Jordan. I mean, what is this? Are you, uh, are you really, where, what is the competition here? Mm -hmm. If you take the, the price from the company directly, then you have it net. But then the agent in Dubai wants to put some money on it. And then the distributor in Jordan wants to put some money on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll it. The same thing with the yeah. ADB. Yeah. 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 That, that will weaken the, the, the product itself to be to be market marketed in, in Iraq because it can't compete with uh, the products which like the Iranians, the Chinese, and the Turkish uh, companies are following the market with products. The problem, uh, sorry, the, the problem is that the agents, the uh, the, the agents in Jordan, Jordan, for example, for ABB, they don't do anything. Just give offers to the company, but they don't. Uh, uh, they don't go direct they to the customers. Contract. They go to the another race between they the end them. user uh, and uh, some commercial companies, but they they do not go directly to the customer. Like they are working in hubs and because they are outside. Mm -hmm. They are far from yeah. us. Man, uh, don't. Uh, no. The idea of establishing the business center that we talked about is will give relief and confidence to these companies to say Iraq will be an exception because we have a business. <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, uh, even uh, this could be uh, uh, would take some time. Uh, Iraq, for instance, is uh, <coughs> such a huge market, so of course uh, agents should be in place. So uh, I think that the, the creation of this business center and uh, one of uh, say the services yeah. in the business center could be uh, to be a new agent for yeah. 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 and so on. Yeah. It's a process in time, yeah. but, but uh, uh, if they can, uh, uh, if they have, haven't got so uh, many hands, just one, uh, uh, they could be more competitive yes. in the yes. market also, of course. Yeah. This is the idea, I mean, that's why we can both trust through this business. <coughs> so, uh, good thinking and uh, a good service for this uh, yeah. uh, One more thing that I thought about is that uh, uh, w when you create alliances, alliances. alliances uh, <laughs> with uh, <laughs> uh, the different kind of organization, for instance, <coughs> uh, uh, the uh, integration uh, department, uh, the trade department, export robot, and so on. They could be uh, your connection uh, to uh, Swedish uh, nicely. Mm -hmm. They have got uh, good connections and meets all the time. So, so you, you don't have to do the, the job all by yourself. So if you create good connections here, and uh, you, you have, just uh, let them know that you also want to uh, come in contact with Svensk for instance. Uh, what can I just want to comment on? Thank you very much. This is very good information, actually. It, it, it's, it's very good. But you see, do you agree with me that those people, when they go to them, they will calculate it economically? How much, it, what's the value that you will capture, and then according to what you're going to do, this is your pay. You wanted another hand on the integration process. It's not only economic, economic plus integration. So we put them together. Mm -hmm. This is the idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Not only to look at it from the economic mm -hmm. side. Although we don't have other choice now. We have to take it this way. Yes. Um, it, it, it depends on who we are talking to. Exactly. If we are talking to Sven Stanislav, and we talk about uh, uh, the different kind of stiffness, we have to talk business, business exactly. and development. Exactly. When we're talking to other institutions and maybe other stiffness, we have to talk about integration. Yeah. 
So we talk yeah. about business ratio. Yeah. You want to yeah. 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 So, so yeah. We can yeah. ask it, and it would be a strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, but I think if you are, uh, what you say, up in the, uh, on the high level, uh, when you talk to politicians, uh, it's, they understand uh, if you can put uh, forward the values that you create, as you, you talked about earlier, uh, many people who have been uh, out to, from the labor market they are now coming in. That's, uh, of course, a great value. And um, <coughs> for Swedish companies, uh, if you create new market, of course, this is a value. Uh, you also create new uh, job opportunities yeah. Yeah. and so on. So you can find, uh, and uh, pol uh, politicians, yeah. they are uh, yeah. quite yeah. smart. So that, that's, yeah, of course, of course, I, I get what you, what you mean. But for the Ministry of Integration, for them the value, but that's why. Because everyone understands the value from his, from its standpoint. Mm -hmm. Every organization look at it from the area of their interest. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Integration, they would focus on, as I talked about, self-organization, interdependence, and diversity. This is the value that they can get in the end from the society. So they can accelerate. They can help more. Uh, maybe they can guide other, uh, well, guide, not guide, but share ideas yes, yes, yes. and reach to a certain conclusion together with others based on also put their part of integration into the whole idea. And, and uh, this is really the optimal value, if, if we can yeah. say that. Uh, and of course, uh, even if some of these contexts, you can't go to the Ministry of Trade and say, uh, 